click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is why dioxide is a gaseous molecule and sulfur is a solid molecule and now in this topic we are going to talk about the oxygen state of group 16 elements. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in this topic I am going to talk about the oxygen state of group 16 elements. So talking about this, we see the group 16 elements have two types of oxygen state and those are basically I am writing about the first one that is negative oxidation state and positive oxidation state. So now let me talk about the negative oxidation first. Suppose if we are considering the oxygen molecule and in that case basically if you talk about O2 so in this case the oxygen will have an oxidation state of 0 even there is a possibility but suppose if we talk about a molecule like H2 so in this case we see the oxidation state of oxygen is found to be minus 2 and since oxygen is more electronegative obviously the common oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 only. So therefore this was related to the oxygen molecule that is what I am writing over here. And suppose if I consider the another example that is H2O2 then in this case the oxidation state of oxygen it has been found to be minus 1. So, these are the different possibilities of the oxygen state of oxygen atom that is what I have discussed over here and now let me talk about the other elements also. So, this was related to the oxygen and now let me talk about the other one that is sulfur. So, talking about sulfur, sulfur has a common oxidation state that is minus 2 because even sulfur is the one which is more electronegative but less than the oxygen. So, therefore, the sulfur has various oxidation state like sulfur can exhibit s2 minus or else it can exhibit that is positive also but here i'm going to talk about the negative oxidation state that is being exhibited by sulfur suppose if we consider that is h2s gas so in this case basically the sulfur will have an oxidation state of minus 2 so talking about the other elements suppose if i talk about selenium so selenium also exists in the form of se2 plus anions and talking about tellurium so even that exists in the form of Pe2 minus ion making a conclusion that this all have at least minus 2 oxidation state and suppose if I'm talking about the last element of group 16 that is nothing but polonium. So polonium being metallic in nature it does not exhibit minus 2 oxidation state so that's the reason I'm writing over here that it does not exist minus 2 oxidation state. So therefore this were all the information related to the negative oxidation state by the group 16 elements and now let us move on to the positive oxidation state that could be exhibited by the elements of group 16. So friends as I have discussed earlier that is oxygen is the most electronegative element of the group 16 but it is not always the same. For example if I talk about a molecule that is OF2. In this case, we see the fluorine is the most electronegative element and that's the reason the oxygen now will have an oxidation state of that is plus 2. So in this case, the oxidation state of oxygen is now plus 2. And suppose if I talk about the other example, suppose if I talk about that is O2F2, then in this case, the oxygen will have a positive oxidation state that is plus 1. So that's the reason I'm going to talk about positive oxidation state. So this was related to the oxygen atom and now let me talk about the next one that is for sulfur. Sulfur also do exist in the form of that is plus 2 oxidation state and similarly we can also compare it with the other examples that it can also that is exhibit that is plus 4 oxidation state. So this is basically plus 2 and suppose if I talk about the other examples like suppose if I talk about SF4. So in this case fluorine being the more electronegative element obviously we understand that is the sulfur will acquire a positive oxidation state so in this case here it is basically plus 4 oxidation state for sulfur and suppose if we talk about the another example that is for tellurium tellurium that is PeCl4 in that case also we will get to know that is the tellurium will have an oxidation state of plus 4 and suppose if we talk about that is selenium Br4 again here the oxidation state of selenium is found to be plus 4 and suppose if I talk about the other example that is SF6. So in this case the sulfur will acquire an oxidation state of plus 6. So thereby we have got to know that is for negative 
oxidation state we have got to know that is the negative oxidation state could be minus one could be that is minus two and now in this case we have got to know that is the group 16 element can exhibit plus two can exhibit plus one can exhibit plus four as well as plus six oxidation state and these are the example related to it so that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe and get a channel thank you so much